numerous different parameters with these uh, balloons. It's a Ray 1 Zon type package, temperature, wind, humidity, parametric pressure going up to an altitude of about 60,000 feet. And uh, they are using these balloons to wash upper level winds today because they are a little bit on the marginal side around uh, the uh, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure region. Balloon scheduled to be released at exactly 7 a.m. away. Right now the uh, main issue that we are continuing to watch is the tribal electrification flight rule, which is what we've been watching all morning and had uh, considerable heads up that this was going to be a factor. Tribal electric charging is observed to put both aircraft and rockets into a corona when they fly through clouds containing ice or precipitation. Tribal electrification is the production of electrostatic charges by friction. And the corona generates radio signals known among aviators as P static, where P stands for precipitation. P static can degrade the signal to noise ratio of critical communications links to the vehicle. And this is especially important uh, for our safety team uh, flight station and the the Great safety command destruct systems that they uh, have available to them if they need to use it. So the tribal electrification rule is designed to protect well, those said, critical. Uh, yes, go ahead. Okay, Maxim. Oh, I found out. Vertical stabilization system. Everything is uh, activated, is, uh, but the uh, pump uh, switch in the uh, switch into the stop position. Okay. Okay. Not, uh, okay. The uh, pump. And meanwhile, we're not working any other. So this is, there is no stop uh, position. There is position off. Okay, let it let it be position off. Okay, let it be position off. Okay, it's on. It's off. Then this is. And uh, the rest will stay uh, activated. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, you have an uh, addition to the. I was working on the same radiogram with the new uh, unit, with, with the plant unit. The, in, the, in the radiogram, in the radiogram, that was uh, uh, written also off. Yes, sir, just want to verify that uh, the alliance was uh, uh, off 120, step 220, the options. Uh, on the G1, I reported uh, uh, all the information. Okay, uh, some of the ops, uh, some of the ops were missing. Uh, they skipped um, uh, many steps in, in those ops, and it says uh, a lot about us, that, uh, about the person who uh, put together that radiogram. They missed a lot of um, items here. Okay, I'll write it down and uh, I'll tell them and uh, report to the specialists. Okay. We'll try to to move from the, the dead point, and we'll work on that. We will we'll, we'll tackle that issue. Okay, understood. Okay, guys. Any more questions to us? No. Okay, then um, you can work according to the schedule the planned activity. By the way, uh, the radiogram 052 from August 31st, I uh, reported on that radiogram, and they haven't taken that into uh, they haven't uh, taken that into consideration. They missed uh, many points here, many steps. Okay, I'll uh, report that, and I'll I'll, I'll make sure. Uh, I'll make sure they will uh, take care of that. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. So this puts us another step closer to uh, our launch this morning.
activity, those swing arms now almost uh, fully back into our launch position. At T-minus, 35 minutes and counting, this is Ares 1X launch control. 